Hello and welcome back to Josh Roddy YouTube. Today we're going to be talking big stick. How can we hit this driver consistently? Now I'm going to give you a couple of moves and a couple of reasons of why one works, one kind of does as well to a certain degree, but I feel like it's for more of a hole that's a little bit wide open. You know, you get them holes where driver, you have to find the fairway, and then you also get them holes where, look, you know, there's not so much trouble down there, so I can give this one a rip. So we're gonna have two swings with driver, the fairway finder, and then the bomb. So let's talk setup first. So setup for me is always so important. I think if you set up wrong, you then set up a golf swing that isn't gonna perform, you know? You could be in a funky position at setup, which then leads to making a poor swing. You could be in a great setup, which then puts you in a good position to make a good move. Whereas, if you don't have that bit right, I think it can break your swing before you've even started it. So setup is key, with driver especially. Now, driver is one of the only clubs in the bag we are fortunate enough to tee it a couple of inches up the, off the ground. So, when doing that, we then have to be behind the ball. Now, I go two moves. I have a setup for my fast swing, which is the bomb, um, and I'm gonna be a little bit more forward, and then I'm gonna move off of the ball on the backswing just to get that load into the right side, back into the left. But the fairway finder, I actually find myself a little bit more sat, kind of on this back leg, 60-40 in weight, and then I don't really move as such, I just pivot around that point hit up on it and be sure to get that nice fairway finder down the middle. Sometimes doesn't always end in the fairway, but you know, it's a much more consistent move than the really high explosive one. So that's two setups, one for the bomb and one for the fairway finder. The second thing to mention is kind of related to the setup as well, but it's gonna be shoulder tilt. Now, when you put hitting an iron, the shoulders are kind of level, you know, you're hitting down nice and steep into it. With a driver, I want to feel more of a tilt where I'm back this way. So the shoulders are kind of going to the sky. I always think of like a 45 degree angle of the shoulders, nice and up. This is just going to help you hit up on the ball. So that's a very important point is the shoulder angle at setup. Make sure you are in this correct tilt. This is just going to help you hit up on the ball. So last but not least is gonna be the downswing. Now, for me, when I'm hitting driver bad, I get draggy, which is when the left arm, the lead arm for me, starts dragging, and I get almost a left arm bent at impact. It's, you know, in this horrible position here, and then I have to hold the face, or I flip it last minute, and that's when I get the two bad ones, you know, the super high right, or a quick left. When I feel like my left arm at impact is nice and straight, that's when I'm hitting my driver my best. So it's very key to keep wide in the backswing and wide in the downswing. That's a very important move that a lot of these top guys do effortlessly. But, you know, don't underlook that point. It's, it's so key to not get this draggy move that you kind of get away with with the irons, right? You can take a divot, hold it off a touch. But with driver, this thing's a different beast. So you're really gonna have to accept that with this driver, we're gonna have to release it. Um, it's a club that we can't fight and hold off. And you do get away with that with the shorter clubs, but the big dog, we've got to release that club head. So let's talk through them points again. We're gonna go into our correct setup. Now I'm gonna go fairway finder on this one, so I'm gonna be slightly behind it. We're gonna make sure we've got the right shoulder tilt 45 degree angle. This kind of gets you in this back leg anyway, so kind of kills two birds with one stone. And then last but not least, we're gonna try and feel like we stay nice and wide on the downswing. We don't get draggy holding off, okay? Putting all them points to the test. Come on, Josh, hit the fairway. A little bit low, dropped off spin there, but First swing of the day, and we are still in the fairway. That is the fairway finder. So, you know, job done on that one. It's not gonna be pretty, but we're in the fairway. Um, for me, I'm playing that draw shot at the moment. That is my pattern. So if you're someone that's fading it, you can still go through all these steps. The only thing I would change is aim a touch further left, and then I'm just gonna move the ball outside that front foot. This is gonna help get it on the left side of the arc, and it should fade. So let's see if we can do one of them. 
and there she is a nice little fade down the middle so there's both patterns covered there draw kind of just inside that front foot fade you can hit it outside the front toe okay and now let's go for the bomb we're going to go into more of a neutral setup now and another thing I like to do is kind of feel like I go taller in the backswing. So I feel like I get taller and then I come down and then up and out. Really get that power move. So let's see what we can get this up to. This is third swing of the day, by the way. Haven't had any warm up. Okay, not my fastest. Normally I'm up around kind of 120 mark, but this was 116, pitching over 280. Releasing out to the 300, almost, 295. Give me one more swing and I'll get there. Um, but that's gonna be kind of two different moves that you can do. You've got that fairway finder where you get that set up a little bit more behind the ball. You know, we're keeping up on it, keeping the pivot centered. And then the power move, I kind of feel like I'm almost more centered at impact. Sorry, it's set up. And then I go a right side, trail side on the backswing, into the lead and up and out and that is the power move so a couple of driver swings for you there three basic setup keys and i hope you guys get improving with the driver because it's a very important club in your bag never underlook this club if you hit this club well it's going to make golf a hell of a lot easier so if you did learn anything new please like and subscribe and we'll see you all for the next one